What's this one? Truman's Panty Raid. We read a, something about this in a previous card. What does that say? Almindon the Maze. And there's a swastika right there. Who's that? The little mannequin. Exhibit C. Who is that? Is that Bush? Exhibit D. Is that cocaine? exhibit b we don't know what b is maybe it's the panties what is this one card number 29 general manuel noriega oh this is the trial of man noriega i believe because the u.s government kidnapped him brought him into the united states right Look at the shelf. There's like jars of frogs in there or something. I wonder what the swastika is about. It's got to be World War II uh, war criminals there, right? I think the mannequin is because Noriega they they brought in voodoo stuff and mannequins but let's read this let's see card number 29 general Manuel Noriega while searching for fugitive general Manuel Noriega US Southern Command Chief General Max Thor Thorman reported that Noriega's beach house contained 50 kilos of cocaine and evidence that he and his uh, Borojas were practicing Brazilian witchcraft on um, enemies like Ronald Reagan and Henry Kissinger. Noriega rumored to be wearing red underwear to ward off the evil eye, eventually took refuge in the Vatican Embassy and later turned himself in to U.S. authorities to face persecution up prosecution on a 1988 u.s drug trafficking indictment the u.s army later admitted that the beach house cocaine was really tamale flour as noriega awaits trial his case is being hampered by the government's refusal to unfreeze 20 million in foreign banks which had 20 million dollars in foreign banks which he needs to pay his defense attorneys in addition authorities have uh, violated his civil rights by taping phone calls between him and his lawyers should Noriega's case ever come to trial the true extent of his role as a middleman between the U.S. back contras and the Middle East co cocaine cartel, undertaken as a favor for his longtime CIA benefactors, could prove embarrassing to George Bush, whose role in the Contra supply operation has so far been cloaked in secrecy. The invasion left the Panamanian economy in shambles damage is estimated at 1.2 1.5 to 3 billion and though the u.s promised 420 million dollars in aid only one fourth of that has been uh, delivered by the end of 1990 nor has removing noriega made nor has removing noriega made a dent in panama's drug trade illegal drop ship shipments through panama or more abundant than ever and president andara is so far unwilling to weaken his country's bank secrecy laws this is very much very much the same game plan that has been going on since then as well right same thing they did in afghanistan right opium shipments keep going through the roof after the nato invasion of afghanistan right crazy